Libras are now having to love themselves when it comes to faith in themselves. Um, this is a faith versus fear decision. You can sit there and take the side of fear and then spend your whole day trying to bring it to love, or you can deliberately default to give yourself, have faith in yourself and give yourself blind faith based on self-love. So the Libras and Libra Risings who apply blind faith based on self-love will then be able to extend that to a faith in life. If you cannot choose faith over love inside yourself, you will not have faith in your world and you will not have faith in life. It is all based on the chestnut of 11 in the house of faith. Now, that said, <clears throat> with Mars and Gemini, uh, you are forging now life purpose and meaning. You are ready to go on a new adventure, a new under educational path, a new way of um, seeing value in the world and what purpose is in the world. And so I think a lot of Libras are very excited right now because finally there's some cool stuff that's happening with the Gemini spectrum. That said, this light purpose must be in concert and reconciled with what you've learned about daily lifestyle. Libras have allowed themselves through their karma to be thrown under the bus, to be paid less than the other person, to, uh, to sacrifice their personal goals to help another employee or an associate or to throw their life way out of balance to accommodate somebody else. So you must, in this new purpose, live according to the ways of the force. You must be in concert with your heart, your spirituality. You must act actively make a lifestyle that represents that you've learned from your lessons. And in that coordination of a perfect lifestyle, now go after the life purpose and meaning. That party in your sign, the pajama party in Libra, has to do with your responses to yourself. As Venus moves through, and crosses over, uh, like I said, the South Node, Black Moon Lilith, and Juno, you will be letting go of all the times that you screwed up. The, uh, oh, I should have done better. That part of yourself where you blame yourself for not treating yourself right, or I should have said this when I talked to him, or I should have been better with myself when I negotiated that. All that shoulda, woulda, coulda is just you shooting all over yourself. Let it all go. Accept what you have been, accept your mistakes, and accept your potential. And by the end of the week, when Venus conjoins Juno, I think you'll be committed to a new way of treating yourself, which will then extend to a new way of the world treating you. Libras have told me time and time again, they don't like the world and the way they've been treated. And I say, it's because secretly in yourself, you've been hard to yourself and you're getting a reflection of how you privately treat yourself when no one's looking. It's serious joy, joy, joy.